is Jassy. welcome back. On today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face tutorial and first impressions on the. This is the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. That's why I have no makeup on, so I just wanna tell you before we continue to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click on the bell, that way you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And of course, after you're watching this video, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. That way I know that you like this kind of videos and of course I would appreciate if you guys leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys want to see next. I didn't know exactly sure what to do with this palette, if I wanted to do a review or what, but I feel like I've been doing so many reviews lately so I'm like let me just go ahead and do a full face makeup tutorial featuring this baby right here and it will be kind of like a first impressions. So I will be doing like a full on review on the palette because this is like first impressions, but if you guys want a full review and swatches, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below and give this video so many likes. That way it lets me know that you guys really want to see a in-depth review on this palette. So I'm going to be starting with my eyebrows and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Lock On Liner in Brow Cream and this is in the shade Light Brown. I have been loving this because it gives this like taupiness color to the eyebrows. I don't like red tones on my eyebrows. And my go-to brush for that is the Anastasia, I think this is a number 12 brush. So I'm going to be using this e.l.f. concealer and then just shape my eyebrows. And the brush that I am using, it's so old, but I think I got this at CVS and it's Beauty Essence or something like that. Essence of Beauty brand. So old you guys, but it's like always my go-to concealer brush to define my eyebrows. So I like to brush my eyebrows a little bit after that. Then I'm gonna go with the L'Oreal Eyebrow Plumper, something like that. And um, it's all blurred out because I use it a lot so it gets all messed up. So I'm just gonna apply that and brush on my eyebrows one more time. I like that it gives it like this definition to the eyes and then it makes them stay in place longer also it gives it makes my eyebrows look lighter and this is in the shade light to medium now I'm gonna go into the eyes exciting I am not gonna apply any eyeshadow base just because I can find my nudish color and that way we can kind of test out how pigmented these eyeshadows are and look at this so gorgeous. I love the big mirror. I'm going to start with this shade over here and it's called Nudie. It's somewhat like a taupey, very neutral brown shade. I'm going to apply that on my transition with this brush. This is from Miss Glam. I'm not sure what it's called. It's called Blend 134 Blend Brush. This eyeshadow is somewhat as I expected it to be, which is a very nude, so it's barely there. Like you can barely see it. I noticed when I applied it like the second time it kind of like gave me more colors so this is more like a buildable shadow. So far it's blending well though. It's blending nice and it's not leaving like those little creases on my lid. I decided to zoom in the camera just so you guys can see a little bit better what I'm talking about. I just have to use the shade Honey Pot. Just this one right here. It's like a gold shade. It looks so pretty. I've been loving this brush from Urban Decay and it is their large eyeshadow brush E203. It grabs shadows like no other. It makes them look so pigmented. I don't think I ever had any eyeshadow like this shade because it's like yellowish but gold but like honey looking. I don't know, it's just so gorgeous. So now I'm gonna go back in with Nudie and blend the eyeshadow out. Now I'm gonna use this brush from BL Got Shoes. I can never take that. It's so hard. <laughs> but it's a smudge brush 
and I'm gonna dip it in the shade Chocolate Martini, which is this like chocolatey, frosty shade. And I'm gonna apply that on the outer corner of my eye. Somewhat like in a V-shape motion. I am noticing that these shadows are somewhat powdery, so go ahead and dip it in the in the pan and then tap it. Just so you can get rid of that excess. This shade is a little bit hard to blend. I don't know if it's because it's like kind of on top of the other eyeshadow, but it's a little bit hard to blend. And I don't feel like it's that pigmented as it looks in the pan. Now, of course, I'm going to go in again with the shade Nudie and blend this a little bit out. For my frog bone, I'm going to be using the shade Lace Teddy, which is like this white pinky shade that I'm going to be using this e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush. Again, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but these eyeshadows are very powdery. Like, Again, I'll blend this out a little bit more. Now I'm going to use the e.l.f. Mega Wild Eyeliner in black. I'm just going to do a slight wing line on my eyes. I'm going to apply this nude shade on my waterline. It is an eyeliner from EM Michelle Fan. Now I'm going to be going back to that shade Chocolate Martini and mix it with the shade Nudie and smudge it on my lower lash line. I'm going to be using this foundation brush just to kind of get rid of that excess eyeshadow. I don't worry about it too much because I'm going to be applying concealer and my foundation, but I just want to make sure that it doesn't get mixed with the foundation and stuff, and it's going to make that like under eye dark circle. An angled brush, I'm going to be getting the shade Bunny Nose, and I'm going to apply that on my waterline. It's this nice pinky frosty shade, so I really hope it stands out on this look. Um, no, I feel like it's not doing anything. Maybe I should change the brush, or you know what? I'm gonna wet it. I'm gonna use the Cinema Secrets setting spray, and I am gonna try to apply more of that shade and see if it pops up a little bit more. Alright, alright, see you. Yeah, I think it's working. <laughs> Probably I didn't choose a right brush but I don't know but I'm loving this shade even if it's like not so pigmented right away now I'm gonna use this mascara which is a Curl Love mascara from Ulta I've been liking it I don't know it's just something about it that makes my lashes curl really fast so I found this cute lash holder at Daiso Japan I don't know if they have these stores like somewhere else than other than LA but it was just one dollar. The lashes I'm going to be using are so natural looking and they are from the brand Andrea. I think I got this at Ulta but they're so natural looking. I like them for like everyday use. I'm going to apply a little bit more of the eyeliner. Just to cover it, the shadow line a little bit more. I mean the eyelash line. Now I'm going to put another little coat of mascara. I kind of like to put the false lash and my real lash kind of together. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but I feel like these shadows are a little bit hard to blend. Or maybe I just get more blending. I don't know. I thought my camera was on, but I was saying that I love this. Primer, it is this Smashbox for a finished permanent primer. I use this 
all the time. If you have watched my videos, you know I use this all the time. It's my holy grail, but um, I just can't find anything else. Like, if you guys know, let me know in the comments down below like what works, how really good to fill out the pores and just make your foundation last longer. I tried the Benefit Professional so many times that it just doesn't work for me. Oh my gosh! So I'm so excited to finally try the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. It's the first time I'm ever going to use it and I just really hope I got the right shade. Let's do this. And I want to recommend you guys this sponge. It is the brand Diane. I did got it like at some other like beauty store, but I know and I think they sell it at Ulta. I just love it. It's so good. So good. I feel like in person it does match. But oh my god, on the camera it looks so white. This is in the shade Natural Beige. And I think they have like beige or medium beige. And I feel like that one's a little bit too dark. And I feel like this one's a little bit too light. So, oh man. I can never find like a nice perfect shade on my skin. Oh well, now going to the concealer. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. concealer. I think this is called like Studio. If I'm not wrong, Studio. Line. Song like that. <laughs> Just cannot put this powder down for some reason. It is a mixed state matte but not flat powder foundation. But I use it to set my whole entire face and I just am hitting out of the hip pan. I'm not hitting pan. I'm like almost done with this powder. <laughs> I'm gonna be using this Luxie Precision Foundation Brush. It is a number 660. So I'm just gonna grab some of that powder and then I'm gonna apply that. Look at that. Oh my god. It's already like shattering in pieces. So I use a bigger powder brush to set the rest of my face. Before I continue, I'm going to get my blending brush again and then I am going to apply a little bit more of the nudie shade and the chocolate teeny, no, chocolate martini shade and I'm just going to blend this smokiness over here a lot more. I live for this. It is the Beauty Counter Counter Powder or Matte Bronzer, but I contour with it because I like that. And then I already have pan on it too. Like this is like my go-to, go-to, go-to. I've been using this angled brush from Elf. I don't think they have this brush anymore because it was like a limited edition thing. But any angled brush will work. Of course, my forehead. I got this sample at Sephora. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush blush in the shade party and I don't even have this like in the website but I'm obsessed with it because it looks very nudish to me and I don't know I just been loving nudish blushes and I'm gonna use this brush it is the Luxie Pro Precision Taper brush I feel like this is more for like highlighter or to dust off excess things like that but I like it for my blush I've been leaving off samples. I've just been trying all these samples from Ipsy. And this is a eyeshadow highlighter from Ofra. I think it's in the shade Bliss. It's so gorgeous. Luxie brushes. They should sponsor me because I just use these brushes pretty much all the time. Tapered highlighter, 5-5, five, five, no, 5-2-2. Five, two, two, and it packs on the highlighter like crazy. Alright friends, so this is the final look. I am wearing the lipstick from Makeup Forever. It is the Artist Roof Cream in the shade C209. I know you can buy this at Sephora for sure. Let me tell you real quick the final thoughts I have on this palette. Basically, the packaging got me. Oh, I just think it's so pretty. Besides that, I am not convinced at all. I'm not convinced with the formula of the shadow. They're so powdery. They're not pigmented enough. I feel like it's not that I had a lot of trouble blending, but I feel like I had a little bit of a fallout. And, uh, you know, they're not my favorite right now. Could be worse though. They could be worse for sure. Let's take in consideration that I don't have any primer on, so that might be 
another reason why probably these shadows are not too pigmented. But again, uh, though I feel like this palette is worth it though. Why? Because it has so many eyeshadows. There are 30 shadows, so that's a lot of um, shades to choose from. I feel like half of the palette it's leaning towards like lighter skin tones, and the other half it's more for like darker skin tones. That's why I feel like this palette is so versatile and like anybody can use this palette pretty much. I feel like a lot of beautiful bridal looks can be created with this. Of course I need to play a more with it because this is a first impressions video so I don't even know like how the shadows are gonna like go throughout the day or last throughout the day so I don't know this is just a first impressions that's why I don't need to talk about it too much. Uh, whatever I see right now that I am using it and it's not my favorite formulation on the eyeshadows but I love the color selection like they're just kind of like different to me in my opinion and they're different to anything I have so I guess that's all I have to say about this video and this palette and of course I'll keep you guys updated on all of my social media which is going to be linked down below I'm mostly active on Instagram and Snapchat so go ahead and add me on snappy snap and I guess we can keep in contact over there I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and again don't forget to subscribe hit that bell because otherwise you won't ever know when I upload new videos and that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video kisses